Globally, more than a million babies die annually during birth. The majority of these deaths occur in Africa, with about 14 African countries recording significantly high rates. According to a new Save the Children report dubbed Surviving the First Day, even in Africa's richest country, South Africa, the number of stillbirths is high, with many children and mothers dying needlessly. Susan Mongeli reports. Somalia, Congo, Mali, Sierra Leone and Central African Republic are five countries with the highest rates of stillbirths. But even in the region's richest country, South Africa, the number of stillbirths is high. In South Africa, on average, every day, 21 babies die in the first day of life. That's almost one baby an hour. Save the Children says inequality in South Africa skews the burden of infant deaths with the poorest of the population having to bear with the largest number of child deaths. The Democratic Republic of Congo is the world's toughest place to be a mother, according to the report. In the DRC, a woman or a girl has a 1 in 30 chance of dying from maternal causes, including childbirth, compared to 1 in 12,200 in Finland, which ranked top as the best country to be a mother. In countries like Mozambique, access to health care in rural areas continues to be an enormous challenge. Nearly all of newborn deaths, about 98%, occur in developing countries, a statistic that underlines a widening gap between the health of the world's rich and poor. Back in South Africa, there's good and bad news. Five million South Africans are HIV positive, the highest number in any country in the world. What's gone right is our rollout in the HIV AIDS uh, pr programs. I think we, we all seen uh, this, the mother to child transmissions come down significantly. What's gone wrong? is the fact that we just, uh, our, our kids are dying of preventable diseases uh, and the cost of which is negligible compared to their lives. Um, and that's where, where, where the real uh, problems sit at the moment. To help in its efforts to improve the situation in South Africa, Save the Children launched a new branch in the country whose aim is to provide further advocacy and support for mothers and children in the region. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.